egomaniacally cackling at how absurd it all was. Like, just watching your own back tire, just out your, your periphery, just bound down the street. And then just thinking about it in retrospect, I was just, I, I just couldn't help but I was like, this is so absurd. Like, it's, it was just absurd. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. A bellissimo. <laughs> Today we are taking a well overdue trip to uh, Naples, Rome. We're gonna do like a little cross match hybrid half breed. But anyways, we've got all the fixings laid out here. This is a well overdue subscriber sponsored request by Karen, a cool Karen, not the kind of Karen that, you know, all the Karens we know about in the memes and online and all that. No, this is a cool Karen, a very nice Karen, a Karen Karen even. But anyways, she said just basically make whatever you think's cool. And uh, so we're going for some fresh, real, awesome wood fire style pizza today. We'll talk about these things. But anyways, let's go over this list here. Got some pickled jalapenos, fresh basil, some pepperonis. We have fresh granite padano, San Marzano sauce, a little bit of old cheddar mixed with mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, a little goat cheese, some fresh dough from a local place, Donato's Pizza Dough. I whipped up some hot honey myself, and then I might add a little bit of this squeeze basil, but it might not be needed. And then we got the semolina flour so, as, so, so it doesn't stick to the paddle. And uh, let's go ahead and concoct a couple, get them set up, and then we'll go to the wood oven fire thing place where they cook really quickly. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, rolling them out is quite the process. I just accept that it's gonna be oblong. Doesn't matter to me, doesn't affect the flavor. I can't get a perfect circle, but anyways. First one we're gonna dress as a kind of pretty standard margarita. I'm gonna add a bit of a twist, but just a light bit coating all the way out to these oblong edges of the San Marzano, you don't wanna go too crazy heavy on the sauce, right? We're gonna do dollops, a little ripped, placed at random, not that random, but you know, sort of strategically placed, fresh mozzarella. I'm coming in with a little bit of the aged old cheddar mix with the fresh mozzarella. Not a ton, just another little sprinkle. Don't make it too heavy once again, just because I want some little classic stretchy cheese pull too, just a little bit. Of course, we gotta hit it with the fresh basil leaves. These I salvaged off a little basil plant that I had, the last pickings of my basil. And then a light little bit of the grana padano, fresh parm, shaved. And that is going to be pizza one. This is going to the fridge because it needs to kind of stay kind of firm and cool. Otherwise it's not really going to come off this very well later on, but that's that. All right, so we got our second base laid out and just for the sake of being redundant, you know, not being redundant, we're just adding pepperoni to this one because we're going to make it kind of a honey hot, jalapeno hot pepperoni. 
So pepperoni is down. Just a few pieces of pickled jalapenos. I don't like it crazy too many, but just a few. I'm gonna opt for a few squirts of this basil as well, just to see how it is. I've never done the basil squirt on these. To basil it up. And then we're gonna come in with goat cheese, which is just so incredible on pizza. I just love the sharp tang against like a charred pepperoni. Truly amazing in my opinion. Couple globs laid out. And I'm gonna omit the Parmesan on this one because there's already enough cheese and I kind of want it to just be this. All right, to the oven we go. All right, so here's what we're working with. It's Members Mark Bartello by Members Mark. Portable exterior flame pizza oven. We got the regulator hooked up to the propane tank. So you gotta crank that open and get that flowing. And it's as easy as just coming to the back now. And then I'm gonna put it on max here. Give you a look on the inside. The flame just rolls up and over the top. And this will take maybe about 30 minutes to get to where I want it. I want it at about 750. That's like my perfect cooking temperature. All right, so here comes the fun part. Here's the pie. Before we do anything, we gotta get, and then we got the paddle or the peel, whatever you wanna call it but I gotta hit it with some semolina flour first, right on the tip. You just wanna get some granular shit on there to help it move when you're trying to get it on the peel. And this is why I kept it in the fridge, cause you need it to have that bit of structure. All right, things got a little sloppy, a little crazy, but we're still all good. Try to get y'all a deep interior look. And you gotta spin it. 360. And this is what you're gonna be left with. Nice pretty pie. Marguerite style. A little crispier. Just a little. <laughs> look at that. All right. Unfortunately, it kind of crumpled up on itself, making it a bit thicker. The other ones I've done in the past have been more, uh, they work better in my favor and remain thin, but still all good. But you know, just like that. that perfect ooey gooey. Let's get to it. He's, you have to eat, he's nice and hot. All right, y'all, been a minute. Uh, shout out Karen once again for this video. And uh, like I said, you gotta, I gotta do one at a time because they die very quickly. Like you have to get them hot and fresh. So let's not talk too much right now, but before we do anything more, we must pour. I'm coming in with a Brio, a soda Kinoto. I figured we'd keep it fully Italian, like legit Italian for this one. So Italian soda, cola. Uh, oddly enough, I got this from Pizza Pizza, which is like just the most hilariously westernized chain, but they keep it very Italian with their soda apparently. Uh, <laughs> been gone a minute. Life got, you know, even a little bit more crazy. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start this video off with that story and then we'll do some Q&A at the end or on, on the second pie. But this story is too not like too crazy not to tell. It just, my wheel literally flew off my vehicle while driving. Very scary. Uh, and we'll talk about it all, insert some images cause I did document the whole thing. But it's just too crazy not to tell because, uh, or actually sorry, inaugural. Beautiful. I don't know how in frame I am, but we'll see. Okay. First things first, we just do have to get an amazing bite, right? So look at that. Look at that. I'm going homemade hot honey drizzle all over this first tip bite, right?
it's incredible, as I imagined. All the ingredients are amazing. This local place is dough. It's legit, good and legit. Try to give you a dough tear. Unfortunately, it did stick to the board a bit and bunched up, made these air pockets. The first time I used it, actually, I, I, I nailed them. I got them a little thinner and crisper. Still good, though. Still very good. So yeah, Karen just said, make whatever you want. I thought this would be a cool vid to do because I just got this thing in spring as a gift and I've been waiting to use it. Does he dare put a runny ranch on a traditional? Does he be blasphemous and do runny riz? on a traditional Italian style. He does. That was good. Sorry, I'm like so hunched over right now because I can't. I'm using my iPhone so I have no idea. really what the frame is like. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so anyways. Y'all know I got my tire slashed. And my neighborhood got all banged up from a vandal. So, I was able to deal with that had to change a few tires because you have to change more than one when one gets slashed and uh, so anyways got them changed out I'm driving around for like three weeks to a month going on maybe a month everything's all good no issues no bumping rubbing clanging anything to be concerned about just everything seemingly fine one day I'm driving over to my sister's house to let out the dogs, play with them for a bit so they can pee. And uh, poo or whatever. And on my way there, I'm halfway there. I'm driving down like a relatively large wider street. It was on Saturday, which was good that it happened then because there's it happened right in front of a high school St. Patrick's High School which luckily just so happened to be one block is one block from my mom's house so everything's fine just cruising along I'm getting right in front of the school basically big wide road and all of a sudden I can just feel like something's wrong in my head. I'm like, oh, I have a flat. So I start to like pull over to the right. And right as I like decide to go start going right and pull over, all of a sudden just like grinding <laughs> and my back tire, my back left tire is bounding down the road in front of me. But there was on head head on coming was two younger girls I wouldn't know that they were they were until I got out of the truck I put through my hands up over my head and was like what the f <laughs> you know did that just really happen they slammed their brakes it barely skipped and missed like over their hood 
and just kept bounding down the street. And they like rolled down there and were like, yo, dude, that was fucking crazy. I'm like, I know, I know. They're like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I just got to go get my tire. So it goes like another, you know, 100 meters. So I have to chase down my tire, get it back to my vehicle. I'll insert some clips here or whatever you could see like this you could see where my rotor just scraped a line right through down the pavement in the road literally scrape marks all the way and then down my vehicle just don't know where my on its rotor don't know where my bolts and are <laughs> so i'm like all right well my mom's is right here i knew she was home because we had just talked and uh I walked to her house, told her situation. She's like, what? Like, she's freaking out. Um, I'm like, yeah, can I borrow your car so that I can go deal with these dogs real quick? And then um, go about getting a tow truck and figure out what I got to do here. But it was very alarming at first, shocking. So I go to deal with the dogs, blah, blah. And then I go back and I think, well, I should look for my lug nuts. So flight path will never escape it. So I uh, go backwards down the street, and it's it's a two lane. It's eventually turns two lane, and it's separated by these grassy boulevards. And so my cabin is go scope. I see I see one. I see another, and it was like a progression down the street. And I found three of the five lug nuts that just completely forced themselves off. Which is crazy. So, I get the lug nuts. Do a bunch of stuff, get the tire into my truck, lock it up. I put a sign on my truck and said all that. And then eventually got tow truck in. He like hiked up the ass end, put the tire back on, <laughs> put the three lug nuts on, got it on the bed, brought it home into my driveway and then from there I just had to go about figuring out because the rim was thrashed totaled um luckily luckily the my interior like my wheel well didn't get all smashed up too bad I got pretty lucky on that you know I didn't get killed nobody else got killed got lucky on that and then uh I had to figure out yeah just getting it uh my, my old tire was still fine it's just the rim was trashed so I had to find a source of new rim and get that tire transferred to new rim reweighted new lugs and get it to uh, get it put on and recheck all of them again right because that's crazy that's nuts that that happened and it was just like I've seen TikTok videos where somebody's cruising and like that's happened on like the freeway and then the tire lands in like the window of some other some other person's vehicle so for the first while i was all shaken up about just what had to happen and like annoyed and frustrated as you would be and then at some point i just started like like the joker like ego maniacally cackling at how absurd it all was like just watching your own back tire just out your, your periphery just bound down the street and then just thinking about it in retrospect i was just i, I just couldn't help but i was like, this is so absurd like it's it was just absurd <laughs> so anyways i didn't die from that which is great but uh it was just another hurdle and like getting a new rim and all that and everything it took time it wasn't like an easy quick fix i it was 
I needed to to get crafty, you know, and uh, I was able to get crafty and I got back on the road and then just focusing on some other life stuff for the last couple of weeks because, yeah, I don't know, just had to focus myself elsewhere and it's summertime once again. I do like to just kind of let summer be summer sometimes when I'm, you know, I just like to try to enjoy these months because winter here is so long, so I try my best to like balance my time in enjoying summer so going and doing things and swimming and blah 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 so anyways let's make the next pie here this one's on better than the last one it has like that wider nicer spread so those edges shouldn't, shouldn't clump up and fold on me like the other one so in we go just this back ass end is getting it's giving me troubles there we go all right here we go and we're off all right, here we go. Onto the board. Bubbly, crispy deliciousness. I always love watching pizzas get cut, to be honest. Mm. Should we make smaller pieces? Maybe I'll make that one smaller. Make that one smaller to you. More bite sizers. <laughs> Squirrel. All right, little hot honey drizz over this one. Nothing crazy, just a little couple strings. Karen, I'm sorry, I'm making the executive decision to postpone the Q&A questions till the next one this video is just not the right video i mixed the wrong food with the wrong type of video q and a's need to be on videos where like the food is long and last you know what i mean isn't heat sensitive so much so i'm going to push it to the next video which is another subscriber sponsored request which is the name of the dish is blanking on me right now but I, it's a Latin, I believe Peruvian, is it? Uh, double carb dish, fries. It's tomato, onion, like a pepper paste, uh, fries, rice, and steak, like marinated steak. Ah, the name's on the tip of my tongue. Anyways. Not for stop. I feel like this just isn't the right format for the cues. So I'll save those to answer in the next video that was requested because that person didn't request that I speak on anything specific. Just that I make and try the dish. So I'll bring those questions over to that video because Right now, I actually want to mention probably the most important thing I could is the movie Sound of Freedom. It's about the child trafficking epidemic and how a lot of people are becoming more privy to it, not burying their heads in the sand about it in the world. It's like an independent... Uh, film made out of a smaller you know lower budget type studio but it's going number one in the box office right now I've been waiting for it to come out for like a couple weeks like a week or a week and a half uh, it's with Jim Caviezel who is an unbelievable dude he has an amazing some of you I'm sure a bunch of you have seen it by now it's just been in the zeitgeist a little bit here but He did an interview with Tim Ballard himself, who he portrays in the film, who's actually an agent who works in uh, 
in the fourth. That's working too. It's his story told through Jim Caviezel, basically, of his life working in the agency. Um, but they have an interview with uh, Jordan Peterson, which is amazing. So if you want to like watch that, that's great. And then also Sean Ryan. Sean Ryan show. is in the realm of like serious podcasts you know I think he might easily be my favorite podcast to listen to nowadays Sean Ryan ex-military or I don't know or was he a SEAL something like that ex-dude who used to go to war basically who lost his faith through going to war. And has since regained his faith through uh, life synchronicities. You know, feeling the presence. And then having interviewed many people who are still of the faith that have been through what he, same thing he's been through. They came back and they, they, you know, they found their faith and still of the faith. And uh, interviewing people who are doing the right thing, trying to bring down people, the malevolent beasts of the world, right? The true evil that exists. I suppose that restored. His face. If you listen to. He has an episode with his wife. Talking all about. His journey on. Coming back to his faith. And it's a very interesting listen. I listened to it as well. And. uh, You know he mentions in it. That he was at a point where he felt like he no, he didn't he no longer belonged in the world that he didn't fit here anymore that I, like you know his values he was alone in his values and he felt like the world had just completely gone to complete dog shit and that the new norm was to be. You know, disgusting, I guess. Like, that's kind of what he was. He couldn't shake the perspective that he kind of wanted to be not, he kind of just didn't want to be alive anymore. And he had to go through a whole painful journey to come back and. find his his people again his reason his meaning his ilk you know of of, you know more well minded people I suppose if that's what we can call it you know a little more morality does he feel like he he just was like the, the world feels like it's hell in a handbasket and he was saying that it's emotional with his wife. He's, they get to a point where she kind of breaks down crying because she was like the thought that he was basically saying like I might unalive myself. Like, it was he's saying it wasn't quite there yet, but he's like if it wasn't for you and our son, it's like I don't know if I would be here. You know, as a combat veteran, which is a common theme of veterans. Lots of them don't make it out alive from their returned life to the uh, regular world. Well, 
I think that signals the end of this video, but this pizza was amazing. The first one was all right. This one's incredible. The goat cheese, the crispy pepperoni. Um, thank you again, uh, Karen. Thank you everybody for just chilling, being patient, waiting for me and whatnot. I hope you guys are all doing very well. Uh, like I said, summer, kind of figuring things out in life that have gone a little topsy-turvy, a little haywire at times, being tested. And uh, I will get to those questions in the next video where I make that dish and it's on the tip of my tongue and it's bothering me so much. But anyways, anyhow, cheers. <laughs> Love y'all. Eat good, live well. Stay true. <laughs> if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.